Alright, hello everybody. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing okay. We are playing some Firewatch. I don't... I Well, I tried to play this game, and it kind of... Uh, my graphics card was pretty shitty at the time, and uh, I got a new one, so now we can actually play it. Uh, we just went through the whole dialogue thing. I uh, couldn't... For some reason, the recording stopped, so I couldn't really get a lot of that, but... Um, we are playing now. You can probably go back and look at some of the things. I said, uh, I said, uh, something about, uh, major. Your major. That was the question. So, anyways, we're gonna pick up the backpack. Oh my god, this game looks so much better now. It looks so much better now. Alright. Alright. Oh, is that our car? I can kind of explore now. Dude, my sensitivity is a little much right now. Okay, there you go. This is such a beautiful game. Like, I had to have it on, like, the lowest quality. Um, shit, man. So you can zoom in as well. It's such a beautiful game when you can actually fucking see it. Um, there we go. Put it in the trunk. Alright. I don't really remember a lot of this game, honestly, so. Uh, you date for over a year. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, Julia, which is, uh, our girlfriend in the story, so. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You could probably go back on another video, on someone else's video, and kind of just see the beginning part. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a, f a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Fair enough. Julia wants a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it to her class. With her to class, there's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. So, I think in the last one, I adopted the, sh the shepherd. I adopted Mayhem. Uh, Mayhem's an excellent dog. She loves wrestling with you in the park and go and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though she's, even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, pet, all rolled into one. So we made a good choice there. I kind of remember that part. Uh, I just know something tragic is gonna happen at some point. Uh, you talk on the deck. It's summer 19, 9, 9:30 p.m. and heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have a couple kids. Uh, uh, I'm saying if you and I have some, some, a couple little idiots. Um, I don't really, there's so many factors that go into like financial situations and such, but I'm just gonna say that would be good. Because she's, uh, we seem to be in a good situation right now. So, in that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that. You say these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably the best if their parents are hitched. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, we're 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 in the wilderness now. You see. All right. This game looks so much better now. Um. Uh, Thoroughfare Trailhead. I think. I, do I remember the control? Something. M was map. Oh, that's compass. Uh, lower compass. Oh, okay. Uh, oh my God, this game is beautiful, man. All right, I guess we'll go into the woods. Why is my mouse sensitivity so fucking high right now? Jesus. Um, can we run? Can we run? Okay. Well, it's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried. And getting angry by the minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets in between the sheets. Oh, between. Okay. Um. I don't want to ignore her, but I also don't want to get mad. <sighs> I don't know what's more disrespectful at this point. Like, I feel like to ignore would be very disrespectful. So I guess they'll get mad. I guess it's good to... You call her an inconsiderate asshole? Okay, well... I didn't... <laughs> I did. They should tell you what you're gonna say. She tells you to fuck yourself. Oh, she... You call her selfish, she knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. Fuck, man! I don't know... I don't know how these things are gonna turn out. Um, Julia still likes to draw. She draw. Okay, so it's a year later. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants. From her research, she draws all the places you go. She draws you. Uh, what? I guess I'll frolic. Because that's funnier. Very nice. <gasps> what the f- <laughs> Is 
It just has me say very nice for no reason. Oh my god, it's just, I remember kind of seeing the game and it was just like one huge blur. Whereas now, like, it's so detailed now, like, oh, it's amazing. Alright, uh, is there, there was a way to run. There was a fucking, oh shit, what did I do? Okay, there was a way to run. There was a way to run. But I, I don't remember it now, so that's good. Climb over, okay. Eh. So, I know that there's that, oh, wow. 1982, during the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. Okay. There, there's a festival in town. It brings folks in from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife? Shit. That, that German shepherd, mayhem runs away. May, may me moo, fuck the dog, Julia yells. She's flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attack. Oh. The music changed. Uh, you scare him away? You, I don't know. You beat his, you, you beat his goddamn face in, man. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. So if I would have scared him away, would they still go that way? Is my question. Like, did I really change that much except for crying? Which is totally fine, because plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Oh, yeah, they're in Colorado. Associate Department Chair. She wants to move. You, you absolutely do not. It's a, if it's a good opportunity, then great. Oh, yeah, it's a great job. But you can't be a dick and just say, like, you have to commute or it's not going to work. Because it's not really her problem. It's your problem. But in this case, I guess convince her not to take the job. That, f that sounds like a really dick move, but I'm going to do that one. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says that bullshit. She's totally right. Fuck. So she asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. But she... Oh, man. I probably should have went for the commute thing, huh? I already have regrets. God damn it. Julia has asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it in a college for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him two days prior. She was found crying in a stairwell. Um. Okay, you say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it you make macaroni and drink wine to forget about it that's kind of that's kind of fucked up you should probably talk about it that doesn't seem like it's gonna solve anything after seeing multiple doctors and having many tests they were worried that julia might be suffering from onset dementia she is 41 you both decide to keep it secret for now fuck man okay oh wait yeah this is the nudity part right this is the yep I don't want to see it. I don't want to see that, man. Just close it up. Fuck me. Artie's... <sighs> Mayhem is getting old older. He has silver hair down the back... Down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Gu Julia goes back to the university. That's good, I suppose. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in her class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on a permanent medical leave. Some days you get uh, some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days uh, you get strange you get a stranger. Oh fuck man. That's kind of fucked up. Uh, she pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh my god, this is just fucked up now. This took a very large turn that I... You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 
1988, you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits, vis visits, visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. Um, it sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into, um, in this situation, for people who are professionally trained, I would say to move her into the full-time care. Uh, but emotionally, it'd probably be... Well, I don't know, actually, because to watch someone fall apart like that would probably be pretty emotionally scarring. I say just, like, get to professional help, I would say, would be the best bet. But I'm no expert. I really haven't dealed with, you know, dementia. What the fuck? I'm... Okay, here we go. Wait, am I going to... Uh, going the right way? I hope I am. I don't know, this is kind of fucked up. I I'm making a lot of choices that I don't really know how to make. Um, but I'm just gonna, oh, wait. I found a running, I found a hive, oh shit. Damn, oh, man, he's gone, all right. Oh, he's, wow, there's actually, I wonder if you run into animals. That'd be pretty cool. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. See, I mean, it's an up, then every other. Fuck me, man. <laughs> it just has to get worse. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay, just, just fucking wait for a second here, okay? I tried to make the best choice. And his game is just shitting on me. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Julia's sister moves into Boulder, uh, moves to Boulder to get closer to her. You know what's funny? A little fact before we keep going. Boulder is the town in the office that Michael Scott leaves to with his wife. Anyways, uh, she visits her every day. You go home with her sometimes. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Okay. Um, months ago, Mayhem dies. Oh, God. Dude, I can't deal with this right now. Julia doesn't remember when you tell her. Oh, that's so fucked, man. That's like... Oh, I can't. That That's like my worst fear is like my dog dying. I mean, it'll eventually happen, but that's just like, that's just rough, man. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock, on, lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes, you f makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. I would say in this situation, that's probably true. Like, you're probably just only fucking yourself over by not seeing her. But you take it. So, is this, like, fire? Is this... F so, that's that's it now? You t Oh, I have to actually... Sorry, I didn't know. Okay, now it's loading. So, the backstory already is kind of shitty. I remember the backstory being shitty, but again, I haven't played this game in, like, a good two months maybe maybe it just feels like a long time but all right so i found out how to run enter the lookout tower so that right there all right this honestly though playing with like better graphics it just it makes everything so much better like i just i fucking love this now like it just it looks so good compared to like what i had to run my old games with you know uh, what is okay i thought that was something else i don't know why why is it all boarded up like this Wow, look at this. Okay, that's obviously fake, but that's a really good touch. Like, I mean, you can kind of see, like, the barrier, so that's real, that's fake right there. But that's a really good touch to the game. Wait. The, the, the Aro Fair lookout? There's another tower? Okay. Or is that a house? I'm, I don't know, whatever. Open the door. Turn on the power. Uh. Oh, okay. It's like zombies right now, about to turn on the fucking power. All right. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh, hello. I remember you. Supplies for two. E Wait, what? Is that does? Oh, Two Forks. Okay. Oh, uh, two what? Two Forks Tower. This is Thoroughfare Tower. Sorry, Come sorry, on. sorry, sorry. I remember this woman now. She's a little weird from from what I can. Uh, hold sh left shift. Oh fuck. 
Left shift, okay. Hello? Um, oh. Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? I am. What's wrong with you? Damn. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I keep pressing tab. Uh, you've killed three X. Holy shit, you're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. I These all sound really bad, but I guess I'll okay, say this one uh, since I don't have time. You're Probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But maybe you Jesus just Christ. really like trees. Maybe it's, gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish, a tree fetish. Good night. That's a little. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> this is that's a weird that's a weird situation. Ah. Uh, okay. That's that's just that's. Oh, I'm using the typewriter. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. That's fucking weird, man. Don't watch me. Wait, when did I unboard all these windows? <laughs> when did I find the time in the middle of the night to, uh, oh, fuck, man. All right, let's... Hey, go. sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus. Six? 6.45. Oh my god. Oops. Don't worry uh, about it. That, that sounds like my life, man. Just fucking stay up all night and sleep up, in. Let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, <laughs> holy shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Oh, wait, is that the logo? This is yeah. the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? <laughs> Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh... West. Those fucking fireworks? Um... West, where's West? I don't know. Wait, what? Fireworks. Oh yeah, the it's fucking. Legal, right? Okay, I remember this now. No. You need to get down there right now and stop them. I'm not gonna spoil Fire it. The oh wait. Roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is like two days away. <laughs> Go down dick, there and set them straight. Okay. Okay. Uh. Like, like kick the kick shit out. The shit out of them, sort of straight. No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure mm, they cool. don't do it again. Take their yeah. shit. All right, fine. Take, don't take or tank? Sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code okay. is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. 1234. All right, got it. Secure. Yeah, secure. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alright, can I look at some of these books? The Singular Mind. Okay. Don't mind your mind alone. This makes me think that, like, this was here for a reason. M Michelle McManus? McManus? Michelle McManus. Glory. Over six million. Okay. Great. Oh, I, why didn't it put it? Alright, fine. Oh my god, I can actually pick up all these? 
Patriots, Donald Anderson. Are these actual books from people? This makes me feel like there are actual books and they're like, uh, like showing product placement in a way. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna explore. Does it say drink? Oh, it says dish soap. Okay, I thought I thought it said drink soap, and I was gonna say something. Oh, I can turn that on, dude. Oh my god. All right, um, turn that off. What? Wait. How do I have that picture? First, hold on. Why can't? Why have I not seen her? Why? Why? Why can't I see her? I feel like that's a little odd. Anyways, whatever. Maybe. What if? What if like, the whole time, the fucking like the wife is fake and he's just fucking crazy. What the fuck are those dreams? Yeah, if that's what actually happens, I'm gonna fucking. People are gonna say fay. People are gonna say I fucking like fake reactions and shit. <laughs> Can I clean the glass? Eh. <laughs> uh, old Scottish oil soap? Eh. Alright, well. Anyways, I think that's gonna do it for us here. I know I kinda spent a little bit fucking around there, but. It is 21 minutes, I feel like that's a bit of a long video. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video with better graphics. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye bye.